Well, good morning, guys, gals, DIYers, friends, countrymen. Um, lend me your ear a jive. Um, today, what we're going to learn to do is to roll paint on popcorn ceiling. Now, this is a rental I'm working on. Um, as you can see, it's got that glorious popcorn ceiling. And it would have been an easy, fairly easy, but nasty thing to do to take this popcorn off. But the uh, investor did not want to do that. He wanted to paint over it. So now that I'm painting over it, it's pretty much going to be an uh, act of Congress to get it off. But that's not my problem. Um, so what we're doing, and, and here's another, t here's a tip. Uh, we're just using flat white paint, not ceiling paint. And... Um, that's what a lot of professionals use when they do a ceiling is just normal flat paint. Doesn't have to be ceiling paint. The difference between ceiling paint and normal flat paint is usually ceiling paint is a little more tacky so that when you're rolling it, it doesn't splatter all over the place. But let me give you another tip. If you take your time and you don't go crazy, you won't splatter regular paint much. Now this room, I, I, I've done painted the walls, and um, yeah, I should have cut in first and did the ceiling first, but I'm doing a couple rooms at a time, so when I'm painting the walls, uh, this gray you see, I'm painting several rooms at once, and so I don't have to go back forward, back forward. Now, um, I painted the ceilings of other, other rooms, started the walls, so this is... Um, this morning, I'm starting with this wall, paint a, a hallway, a ceiling. I said wall, I'm sorry, ceiling. Anyway, so if I was just doing one room at a time by itself, I would, I would start with the ceiling, then the walls, and maybe the trim, or maybe the ceiling, then the trim, then the walls. I don't care how you do it. You're going to have people say, well, I've been doing it for 30 years, and you always do trim first. Do trim first if you want to do trim first. You want to do trim last? Do trim last. There, there, there's pros and cons to each, and I do it all, all different ways, all different times. So anyway, here we go. I can't actually really show you <laughs> with, while I'm filming here, but we got our flat white paint. Let's get it. And one of these days I'll get my helper back, and she'll be able to video but typically this room this is about a 10 by 12 so i like starting in the middle i got my good glue stir extender pole and i like to start in the middle where i can go all the way over and then come back get more paint now this is popcorn ceiling if you was to lay this out flat this would probably be like two rooms worth of, of paint um, what I'm using today is a three quarter inch nap roller. You need a heavy roller to lay this down on popcorn. Uh, don't try a quarter inch or three eighths. That might work, but you're going to work at it, getting it, getting it to, to uh, lay on there. So I'm just uh, looking. Now I've done painted this room side to side. I'm staying in the middle. And like I said, I'm filming with one hand, so I'm going all the way across. And then I'm coming back to about the middle, getting more paint. And yes, I could take it out of the bucket. But I don't prefer that right now. Some days I do, some days I don't. It's perfectly fine either way. I'm not getting paid by the hour, I'm getting paid by the job. A lot of times I feel I move faster with a pan than I do a bucket. Uh, plus if I'm at a bigger room, I can always just reach down, move the pan the way I want to go. With a bucket, you gotta always come, go down this way, walk back with a pan. A lot of times I can be with this extended pole, I can be all the way across the room, grab this pan, scoot it to wherever I need it. Okay, so there you have it. Once I get this way, I'll turn around and I'll go this way and I usually start at the edge and here's the thing about cutting in um, this is where I do my edges I get real close if you go slow you can get within just a little uh, half inch or so of that wall 
and roll the edges and that will make your cutting in of the ceiling a lot easier. Now, if you prefer to cut in before you roll, hey, that's okay too. No law against it or for it. But you got people, oh no, you gotta cut in first. You gotta cut in, I've been doing it 40 years. Don't care, I've been doing it 20. Maybe by the time I do it 40, I'll, cut, I'll start cutting in on every one. Sometimes I do cut in first, sometimes I don't. But when you're rolling the corners, roller in, if you'll roll with pressure, put a little pressure right on that as you roll, you'll get real close. Now, like I said, if you're gonna cut in first, disregard that. It ain't gonna matter, so either way, I've got some nail pops up there I've gotta fix. Um, another thing, I'm working without the light on because I've got natural light coming in this window. It will show you every dark space that you have, which isn't painted good. Now, as I said earlier, I first went this way. Wait an hour after I got this paint on, and then I will come back and I will go this way. That ensures that you will get every side of every one of those little pieces of popcorn hanging down there. Because if you don't, and sometimes you can see it when you just put one layer on, you'll see the darker, dirtier side that hasn't been, that, that's another reason you want to use a really thick nap, half inch or three quarter inch. I, I prefer three quarter inch. Same with these really rough textured walls. I, I like three quarter inch nap. Holds a lot of paint and um, gets the job done. So, and then when I come out here, I'll probably leave the light on because there ain't much natural light here, but I got to fix these nail pops, but I'll do the same thing. This is about a, about a 10 or 12 foot long hallway. You can see my, my runner ends right there. So it's 12 foot. So, um, I'll have an extension pole and I'll get the edges first. I may even cut these in first since I got to get on a ladder and fill these. But since I'm doing ceilings, I'll do this ceiling, I'll do this ceiling, come in this room, do this ceiling, and then I'll switch back to walls and I'll do this wall, these walls, and these walls. Uh, it just, it's a time saver overall. Uh, I can get three, four rooms done in a day by myself as opposed to if I was doing, if I come in here and I did the ceiling and I went and switched everything out, my rollers, my paint, clean everything up and then switched over to, to the, for the walls and then switch everything for the trim. By the time you do all that, three or four rooms, you're just gonna take you a while. So I'll just come in. These areas here where I can't get a roller, obviously I'll, I'll cut these in uh, when I do the walls. So still gotta put another coat of paint, uh, coat of mud on that, get that heavy ass texture. If you haven't seen my um, monkey, poo, uh, monkey flinging poo technique for uh, matching heavy texture, uh, knockdown texture, you might wanna find that. So anyway, guys, hey, rolling popcorn just takes a little bit more thought uh, beforehand. Careful choice of your tools. Like I said, you want that uh, three quarter inch nap. If you can't find three quarter inch, at least get a half inch. Cause I'm telling you, I've tried this when I first started with um, uh, three eighths and you're gonna be here while. See, I've done got this one. I always go with two coats, even though this was a white one, and I probably could have got away with one. Two coats are going to look better because, oh, there's, like I said, on this room, I went this way first coat. That dried about an hour, and then I come front to back, and I'm, I coat everything. Everything gets coated. Uh, this is going to be a real fun uh, experience right here. He wants these beams painted white, uh, gloss white, and then these, the ceiling's going to be a flat white, so... I'm not really looking forward to that. I, I wish he'd kept it uh, wood, but his choice, his house, his choice. So anyway, guys, go ahead. If you're gonna keep this popcorn ceiling, uh, I now advise you just to, you know, really, I advise you, if you've got popcorn ceiling, just take it off. Now, if it's been painted over, it's gonna be a chore. Uh, but um, if you can, it's it's nasty a lot of it can, contains asbestos and the older homes it's just best to get rid of it and it looks so much better when it's a nice flat ceiling with just a little orange peel on there just a little texture it looks so much better 
and so much cleaner and brighter than this this stuff so anyway donald diy don't forget like and subscribe down below y'all put me on your playlist um and also that little bell looking thing down there click that and then every time i post a a video you will get an update but this is how you're going to roll paint on a popcorn ceiling and make it look good so donald diy blue collar diy that is i'm out y'all have a good day